First off, let me apologize for the super late video. I had a ton of vlog footage recorded for last week, but after I loaded in all the clips into the computer, I realized that 75% of the clips did not have any audio. The audio in my camera has completely malfunctioned. So it only works 25% of the time. It's not working right now, so I have to use an external microphone, which is pretty annoying. So B&H is where I usually get my camera equipment. But um, I ordered a new camera from this website, and I didn't realize they were on a Sukos holiday closing. They're closed from the 13th through the 23rd. I had to wait two whole weeks. I didn't want to go another week without putting out some type of content. So uh, there's going to be a lot of voiceovers in this video. So I just went bowling with some of the boys, and of course, I had to set up some wagers to spice things up a bit. If I get a higher score than you, I get to obliterate your ass. <laughs> Sounds very wrong. The ass obliteration wager. Loser suffers one of these two consequences of ass obliteration. The Naruto finger blast. <laughs> the love tap from hell. My personal favorite. <laughs> Victim number one, Ike. All I had to do was bribe him like a five-year-old kid to get what I wanted. I'll tell you what. If you let me win, I will permanently leave your name in the description. Forever. Oh, you shook on it, dude. You're about to get your ass obliterated. I'm about to lose, baby. <laughs> Victim number two, Ryan. Ryan had a little bit too much to drink that night, so he was a super easy target for me. Ryan has also admitted his uh, defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Victim number three. All right, this fool Andy bowls professionally, so I really had no chance whatsoever. Oh, Just let me win, please. Even if, I, even if I let you win, it's impossible for you to yeah, win. The now. story is not gonna make sense if you don't let me win. Yeah, look, you win two, you lose one. You can't win everything. That's the moral. Fortunately for me, he got a little bit too cocky at one point, and he told me that if I strike the next set he'd be down to automatically forfeit. All I have to do is strike this to automatically win, and it's gonna be a good ass night. Fuck, this is it. Automatic win! I lost his bet. You did this to yourself. All right, now get a shot of his ass. <laughs> I did my winding oh my up. God. Get my back up so you can see both of us. Hey, at least your ass is in high death. <laughs> Who's next? Hey, Andy, hey, get over here. I'm skinny. I'm, I'm not playing I'm around. I'm skinny. I'm skinny. I'm winding I'm skinny. up, bro. I need okay. the side angle. I need all angles, bro. Here we go. I'm winding up, baby. Ah, zoom into my face. Ah, look how look how intense that shit is. Ah. Look at the face. I love you so much that I'll let you get away with it for today. But because I don't remember the last five hours. I'm coming to your house tomorrow, and we're gonna complete the Are deal. You? Yeah. Well, well, look who we have here. Ryan, did you think you could escape me? No. Did you think you can escape my punishment? Nope. I need, I need a lot of space for this, bro. Oh my god. Stop! I gotta take off my socks. I'm gonna oh, slip. <laughs> I just need that traction. Stop! Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so from now on, in every video, I'm gonna try to answer some of the most frequently asked questions, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. And uh, a question that I get asked a lot about is, you know, questions regarding my college experience. To be completely honest, uh, college for me personally was a complete waste of time. I spent six long, grueling, confusing years in there switching back and forth between majors like business to physical therapy to communications to digital media, blah, 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 blah. Like, holy shit, man. Someone caught an ambulance because I'm about to have a mental breakdown recalling these horrible memories. I wasted so much fucking money switching back and forth like that. And by the time I graduated, that was probably over $20,000 in debt from school loans. Never took any of my classes seriously because all I wanted to do during those times was make videos instead of doing my homework or studying for a test. I didn't really care about anything else. 
during the class lectures, I just remember thinking to myself like, bro, 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 Mr. Teacher, can you please shut your ass up? Can't you see I'm busy brainstorming up in this bitch? Never paid attention during class. I would just be on my laptop, either brainstorming new ideas or writing up scripts for the next video. I was just trying to get by doing the least amount of work possible. For example, I used to go on these sketchy ass websites and hired a bunch of Indians overseas to write my papers for me for like 20 bucks a page just so I could free up some time to film. And you have no idea how many credit cards I maxed out using this type of service. Honestly, my ass should have been expelled from the whole entire school system completely. Or I should have went to jail or something because what I was doing was really, really, really bad. At the time, all of my videos were getting demonetized. So I wasn't making anything from YouTube. So naturally, I began racking up a ton of debt from my videos. The props, the production costs, camera equipment, computer to edit, blah, blah, blah. There's tons of stuff I was spending money on. I maxed out every single credit card offer that came in the mail. Towards the last year of college, my credit card debt was at a whopping $25,000 on top of the school loans, which was another $20,000. And I had no money to pay them off. I was literally going through and checking all the sofas and couches, trying to scrape up every single penny I could find. I couldn't even afford to buy used breadcrumbs, so I had a really hard time trying to keep up with the production cost of these videos. My situation got pretty bad to the point where I was going into the deli aisle of a grocery store and I stole chicken wings for lunch just so I could save up some money for the next video. I just walked in, grabbed the 10 piece chicken wings and walked out without paying for it. Probably should have went to jail for that because I'm pretty sure that's really illegal. But thank God I didn't. To pay for rent for the apartment I was staying in at the time, I used to go on this website called AliExpress.com, uh, which is a Chinese website that sells stuff for hella cheap from China, of course. And I used to buy these shoes called the Nike Air Mags, fake Nike Air Mags for around $300. And I listed them on eBay as replicas. And people were actually buying them for six to $700 a pop, knowing they were replicas. I'm like, bro, do you not know about all these Chinese websites that sell them for half the price? Once again, all this was extremely illegal and I could have definitely went to jail. But instead, when eBay found out what I was doing, all they did was give me a nice little spank on the ass and shut down my account. Every month I'd sell about two or three pairs just to keep up with the cost of rent. Eventually, the cost of living was beginning to destroy my soul. That's when I went into full on panic mode and I took a really long break from YouTube because I was like, fuck man, I need to figure out a way to pay off all this fucking debt because I am, I'm in deep shit right now. For a little while, I did a bit of freelancing work and I shot music videos for local artists who weren't even paying that much, but I did it anyways because I needed to start up a portfolio. A lot of people were like, Brian, you should have just stayed on YouTube and maybe after a while you would have made it. Trust me, I would have loved, loved to have been able to do that, but with what money? Every day, I woke up panicking because my pockets were empty and I had no idea what the fuck I was going to do when the next credit card bill came. Then, a miracle happened. I met a friend named David who happened to be a college dropout and he became pretty successful by the age of 19. He probably sensed that I was in a little bit of a funk and he texted me one day. He was like, hey man, let me lend you $2,000 and how about you use that money towards some investments and try to make more money out of it. We went to the movies the next day and he handed me an envelope which I assumed there was $2,000 in there. I took the envelope because Lord knows I was in desperate need of it. I went home and I counted the envelope and there wasn't $2,000 in there bro. There was $5,000 in there straight cold cash. I was like, dude, what the hell is going on? I can't believe someone just handed me $5,000. In what world? What universe is this happening? As a broke ass college student, I've never seen that much money all at once in front of my face. So that was an incredible feeling. Very, very thankful for my boy David, man. He literally saved my ass. Long story short, 
I flipped the shit out of that $5,000, made a few risky investments, but after about a year, I was able to pay back David, I paid off my $25,000 credit card debt, I paid off my $20,000 school loans, I bought a new reliable Honda Civic because my 1992 Acura TL was starting to break down on me. Now I'm just strictly living off my savings because I'm giving this YouTube thing another shot and I'm not looking back, baby. Fuck school, fuck the system.